By popular demand, here's the post about the interpretation of snake signs for the hidden Yamashita treasures. Everybody surely knows what a real snake looks like, and many people are afraid of these reptilian creatures because most of their species are venomous. But before we proceed into the discussion of their meanings, let me tell you first an interesting trivia about the largest living snake in the word. Measured either by length or by weight, are various members of the Boidae and Pythonidae families. They include anacondas, pythons and boa constrictors, which are all non-venomous constrictors. The longest venomous snake, with a length up to 18.5 18.8 feet 5 .6, 5 meters, is the king cobra one, and the heaviest venomous snake is likely to be the gaboon viper, which also has the longest fangs and delivers the largest amount of venom, or possibly the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, all three of which reach maximum weights in the range of 620 kilograms 1344 pounds. But when it comes to the hidden Yamashita treasures, the Japanese Imperial Army often use snake as signs to represent warning for poison traps. These poison traps can be in the form of chemicals or gas. The good thing about snake signs is that, aside from giving a warning, they also give directions to specific locations of the hidden treasure deposits. Let's start with the first sign which is a snake head. Throughout my treasure hunting career, I have already encountered engraved snake heads on surfaces of old rocks. Some of them were artistically carved or engraved with clarity where they have tongues, fangs, and eyes. When it comes to direction, you have to follow the direction where the head is facing at. Treat the head like an arrow sign that is pointing to a specific direction. On this illustration, we have here a snake head sign with an open mouth. This means that the trap that is lying ahead consists of gas trap. But if the mouth is closed, you will be dealing with chemicals. On this illustration, we have here a snake that is in its striking position. If you try to observe an actual snake with its striking position particularly targeted toward its prey, you will notice that the snake will never miss on its target. This goes the same way with the snake sign aiming at a specific direction. You have to determine the possible striking spot or location of the snake sign, and that will be the spot that you need to dig. However, you should always proceed with caution when digging a spot pinpointed by snake signs. It's because you will surely encounter gas or chemical type of traps. The best among all Yamashita treasure snake signs is the one that has a coiled body. It's because unlike the snake with the striking position, a coiled snake indicate that the treasure deposit is right underneath it. In comparison to an actual coiled snake, it seems that the creature is like protecting its valuable eggs, and it will stand on its ground, no matter what happens. Again, proceed with extra caution, because you will surely deal against gas or chemical types of traps. On some cases, you may encounter snake sign that is compassed of only the head, but instead of staring onto a certain surface of the ground, it is staring at an upward direction. If you happen to came across a certain actual snake that is staring up, what is your impression about it? Most likely, it wants to go up, particularly to climb up on a tree. So in relation to the hidden Yamashita treasure, a snake head sign that is looking up is referring to a certain old tree nearby. The item could possibly be an inside the tree treasure deposit. Or the item can also be buried underneath or close to it. If you happen to encounter a crawling snake sign then you have to follow the direction where it is heading. But unlike the snake sign that is in a striking position, a crawling snake sign often refer to far distance location. The reason behind this sign is that, a crawling snake means that it has a long way to travel. 